Can Saiga. Can 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 Saiga Quinn. Can Saiga Quinn's gonna say this in real life, except like you know millionaires like Boris Johnson. Uh, I um, don't know. This this construction is so strange. Konnichiwa. Boshiki Bunjo got Moji Kowei, Jimmy does. But this is uh, the only show on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher fails at answering Japanese university entrance exam questions. Now, today you're joining me from my living room. This is not my bedroom like normal. Uh, see, in the UK it is currently 4pm. Um, 4pm. And it is pitch black outside. No light. The sun has already gone down. Can't record in my room because the, the light in my room is terrible. Pathetic. So I've got this light here to uh, light up my face a bit. Sorry, you have to look at my face for the next few minutes. Uh, uh, today we are looking at Kansai Gakuin. Kansai... 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 Kansai Gakuin. Kansai Gakuin. Kansai Gakuin University. I think that's how you say it. Kansai Gakuin University. Um, um, I will not be imitating Sutahage because you guys told me to practice uh, my Futakana and Anosa. I need to practice, so hopefully next week uh, or next video I will um, be imitating Sutahage a bit better and a bit more. I'm learning how to do it. Um, I'm watching some videos. Question number one. The change in his status deprived blank classified information. For him access of. Him of access to. Him to access of. Him of access from. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, this is quite hard for me to say because it's so many small words um, together. The answer is change in his status deprived him of access to classified information. So there's a lot of small words like particles, prepositions, um, it's a bit complicated, it's just kind of word order here, but the answer is B, him of access to. You need to go blank the data again to make sure there are no mistakes. Uh, I'm currently writing my dissertation um, and a few other projects for university. Uh, I'm very busy at the moment and I keep having to read data over and over and over to make sure there are no mistakes and it is killing me. So bad. Um, anyway, you need to go over the data again to make sure there are no mistakes. Uh, so the answer is D. Question number three. Blank. Hope the heart would break. Deep. Uh, is it not for? Were it not for? Had it not for? Going it for? Oh, okay. Yeah. The answer here is B. Were it not for hope, the heart would break. Um, very weird sentence construction. Um, doesn't really make much sense. Hello. My flatmate has just walked in the room. I'm recording a video. What, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Alright, enjoy. My flatmate just walked in. Because of course I'm in my living room. Uh, she comes in, gets a bottle of cleaner, and says, I'm going to clean my room. Answer was, were it not for hope, the heart would break. Very strange sentence, um, very formal, very, very formal. Uh, the, the sort of way that you're saying it is it, like old English, like from 200 years ago, uh, or 100 years ago. Uh, wouldn't really say it now, but it does make sense, it does make sense. Question number four. The recovery score of the manufacturing industry is higher than blank other industries. Okay. Um, you don't need this here. You can, you don't need to, to fill in this gap. Um, the recovery score of, man, of the manufacturing industry is higher than other industries. Makes sense. Makes complete sense. 
Um, but for formality, again, this might be used in a business meeting um, or a business um, report or something. Um, sort of, what of, which of, that of. And the answer is that of. Um, is higher than that of other industries. Very formal, as I said, in business reports or talking to your boss, but um, you can just say higher than other industries. But the answer is D, that of. Question number five. Uh, I am concerned. Two cups of coffee a day is more than enough. <laughs> okay, can I, can I just say, um, when I was in Japan, I drank so much coffee. Uh, boss coffee is amazing. Um, you walk into 7-Eleven or Family Mart and there's a whole wall of hot coffee. We don't have that in the UK. I miss it so much. I want it so bad. Um, absolutely incredible. Anyway, uh, as much as, as many as, as well as, as far as. The answer is D, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, two cups of coffee a day is more than enough. That means you, you don't want more than two cups of coffee a day. I disagree. I have a lot of coffee, uh, <laughs> especially in Japan. Um, but yeah, the answer is D, as far as. Question number six. I can count. Blank arrived at the hotel, then he took a sh- Okay, Blank arrived at the hotel, then he took a shower. No sooner had he, no sooner be, he no sooner, he sooner. Oh god. Um, this is another weird construction, like a, a weird sentence starter. A very formal, um, not used in everyday conversation at all. Um, no sooner had he arrived at the hotel than he took a shower. No sooner had he arrived at the hotel than he took a shower. That was not a posh accent. <clears throat> no sooner had he arrived at the hotel than he took a shower. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make... I'm trying to be posh. Uh, I'm trying to be like a posh guy. Because nobody's going to say this in real life except like, you know, millionaires like Boris Johnson. Um, my country's a mess. Um, no sooner he arrived at the hotel... No, that doesn't make sense. He no sooner... No, he sooner arrived at the hotel than he took a shower. I don't know the answer, but the I'm gonna go for A. No sooner had he. I don't know. This this construction is so strange. Question number seven. Canada is the country blank when I was a young schoolboy. Canada is the country where I would live, of which I would live, which I used to live, where I used to live. Um, strange sentence, but the answer is D. Where I used to live. Um, because used to is past tense. Um, if you say used to, uh, you're talking about something that you did in the past, but don't do now. Um, so this person does not live in Canada anymore. But again, it's a very strange... Canada is the country where I used to live. I would just say Canada is where I used to live. Or I used to live in Canada when I was a young schoolboy. Strange way to word it, but the answer is D, where I used to live. Uh, question number eight. Question number eight. If I take the driving test again next Saturday, I blank it three times in total. Will have taken, should have taken, could have taken, might have taken. Ooh, okay, so it's either will have taken or should have taken, and the one that makes sense is A, will have taken, uh, if I take my driving test again next Saturday, I will have taken it three times in total. Um, so it's just saying, I failed my driving test twice. I'm, I'm going for my third uh, attempt on Saturday. Uh, good luck. Third time's a charm. It's a good phrase. Um, hopefully you pass. Uh, yeah, so the answer is A, will have taken Question number nine, you will find him in his office, blank in the afternoon. More than often, not more than often, more often than not, often not more than, oh, bleh. <laughs> often not more than, it's so hard to say. It's like a tongue twister. Peter Piper picks a peck of pickled pepper. Um, you will find him in his office, 
more often than not in the afternoon? Answer is C, more often than not in the afternoon. So, um, you know, he's usually in the office. Easier way to say it, he's usually in his office in the afternoon. Question number 10, blank must pay membership fees as required by the club executive committee. All club members, <clears throat> all of club members, all of club member, all the club member. Um, well, it's obviously plural, so it's either A or B. Um, and the answer here is A, all club members. Um, if you wanted to say of, you need to say all of the club members, uh, which isn't an option. So, 10 questions for Kansai Gak... Can Kans <laughs> Kansai Gakuin. Kansai Gakuin University. Uh, that's very difficult to say. Uh, next week I will improve on my Stehage impressions for you guys. You've given me some helpful tips, so I will, uh, I'll finish them off. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Take care.